We're going to Walmart Hall. Walmart Hall. But we're starting with Trader Joe's Mighty Areola Cherry Juice Shot. Not pronouncing it right but y'all this has got a thousand ten percent of your vitamin c so it's gonna take me a second here i can't gulp it all down but have y'all had them Woo! areola cherry juice is that a certain kind of cherry Especially after an almond cookie. Mm. This might be a good thing to share some paint in. Woo, y'all. Mm. That's something. So it's like quarter to three. I'm starting to fade a little bit. So I thought, you know what? There's a certain core group of things I need to, I would like to get done and put away. Let's hop on those. So this is all I got at Walmart. Partly because they wouldn't take my gift card on my thing, so that's a pain in the butt. So I got, we're gonna only do, <coughs> Mark and Sue and I, a couple of these, but I got this S'mores Graham Cracker Flavored Marshmallow peepees, and um, I've never seen them, or we've never had them, so I got that. That was really, I got this from my friend's kid. I'm going to mail big thing too. I just think that's fun. Isn't that fun? It's got lo 10 lollipops inside. And get your storage case. So I got that. So that's going to be mailed off. I got another, um, I just got one. And this was like 97 cents, something like that. Toothbrush. And the whole reason I went in there is for the Sensodyne Pro Enamel. So I'm done with my toothpaste. I'm really sad, but this is a high on yucca. Now I, I, you know, I scanned the Equate version of it and it didn't do so well. So we're going to see, I was going to get one that was whitening too and see, um, that might help me with a little, you know, I have such sensitive teeth and gums. I'm afraid to get my teeth whitened. I mean, I would love to get them whitened. <clears throat> but I got all kinds of stuff that, you know, for my vanity. I remember my friend Mimi, and I, I forget what this is, like $6? My friend Mimi, I'm going to forget, when she went to the, like, was it 25th reunion in school? She said everyone had blaringly just create, like, shiny white teeth. <laughs> I get it. Y'all, don't tell Beverly. Shh, 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 shh. This is for part of her Easter gift, for being her hostess gift. So, Native, y'all, love it. You got high on the yucca. We don't have toxins in this stuff. We just don't. Um, and what's so interesting on the back, it says ingredient, what it actually means. So water, water. Something I can't pronounce, but saying, uh, cleanser derived from plants. Table salt to thicken body wash. Cleanser derived from plants. Cleansing salt, key lime and sugar scents. So, so it tells you, right? Let's. I didn't smell this. Mm, smells good. So this is key lime and sugar. She loves her key lime. So that's going to go. Now I got, okay, I did. I saw something on the, on the gram this morning. I thought, you know what? Oh my God. What the hell is that? I had, and these were $1.24. I said, if I see him, I'm going to get them. But other than that, so I got one for each of her, her niece and her, her two nieces, right? Aren't they adorable? But so let me put that in there and that's going to go in her pile of stuff. I got them stuff from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I don't know <coughs> what I'm gonna put in here, but I'm thinking a bunch of markers maybe. I don't know, but something like that. Isn't that adorable? Or you know what? It could be scraps. Yeah. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've indulged. Okay, don't hit the ground. And something like that, and that was it. I, I kind of moseyed around a little bit quickly. Took some pictures of things I thought were fun. So I'm gonna try to um, like put that all together. I did not look for donuts, y'all, I just had donuts. I'm not gonna look for the donuts, but when I do get the donuts, I'm gonna shrink wrap them and then have them when I want them. So, 
but they have the best donuts. I'm sorry, hands down, they taste just like my grandma's donuts. That, y'all, is an amazing thing. So let me show you my table, y'all. It's just on there, right? Like, whoop. Yep, got lots of stuff to do. I'm in the process of letting my dishes soak. I've got a heap of clothes that need to be folded and put upstairs. I think I might wait on the DVD thing. I don't feel fresh enough. You gotta be in a, like the right place. So I think I'll take, I'm gonna take those up, fold them, put them away. I have one more in the dryer. And then we are officially caught up with a majority, except for my tops, y'all. Not like, like I said, I wash this top. But any ones that are a little different, like my cardigans, my nice sweater, stuff like that. We're going to work on this week, but not today. I'm not washing anything else. Get that one last load up, and then I am good to go. I even washed my pajamas and stuff from yet. Not, not my pajamas, but what I wore yesterday. Yeah, I mean, literally, this is it. So why, I don't know. I'm just going to work on keeping up with it because I'm really good at organizing and making chaos. But yeah, so my laundry situation, if I can remember, <coughs> I put a picture of my laundry here too. So my floor is looking better. So I think what I'm going to do is I have some Trader Joe's stuff and then I'm going to um, go put all my clothes and stuff away. And then um I don't know if I'm going to take you guys. I want to clean my my altar. I don't know if I should start that project today because I want to clean the inside out. But I think what I might do is just clean all the things that are on it and keep make decide what I want to have on it. But y'all, I still have to pack some boxes and um, do some picking up. And we have Trader Joe's. I'm going to leave the kitchen right now. I'm just really struggling on how to... Organize my art stuff. Yeah, I have to think that through and um, see, I mean, having like all my watercolor stuff together, all my acrylic stuff, but do I need everything upstairs? Am I being too lazy just to want everything here and not go down? I don't know. But I'm, um, I did another, where's my guy? I did, look at this, my... Flamingo got wet and ripped. Y'all don't like that. That's not right. So I got to repair that. And let's see here. I am working on a couple I drew. Okay, well, you know, who knows where they're at at this particular moment. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, here's one. So she's drying. Oh, my gosh. This is really taking some time. Okay. So she's drying. Right, she's just on dictionary paper. So I'm gonna draw in her face and do her brooch, but she's taking a minute to draw. Let me put her in the sun. And I drew a cat. Um, it's a cat tree cat. It's from a coloring book. Hmm. Anyway, y'all, this table, here it is. Kind of a little bit, I don't know. Primitive, y'all, that's what we're gonna say. But I think you can tell it's a cat and it's on a cat stand. I'm not quite finished with it. Go let it dry. Anyway, cat tree cat, y'all. It's just about doing simple drawings. I'd like to do like five more and then have them available to um, paint or do what I want to do with this week. And also my clothes I ordered, PayPal says it's pending. I think I might have chosen the credit card that's expired. Why it didn't reject it immediately, I don't know. Eula, Eula Popkins, um, Customer service is only during the week. So we'll see. I'm going to call them tomorrow and see if maybe we can cancel it and I can restart it. I just want to make sure I get my 40%. There's nowhere on PayPal where I can say, can you substitute something else? That's a flaw. I don't know. Is Mercury in retrograde, y'all? I don't know. But So I'm going to do a review on this, let you know what I think. It's kind of expensive, but you know. It is not full of chemicals, right? Repairs weaken enamel, clean mint, y'all. There's some called Arctic Freeze. I thought, hmm. Let's try. Oh, that smells okay. What the heck is Arctic? F and then there was one Arctic Breeze. Okay. That's good. Clean mint. So I'll let you know. I'll be like, hi, this is brought to you by Sensodyne. All the YouTubers with some bad teeth. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to let you go. And um, I got lots of posting to do, y'all. Lots. I did a little chat in the car. So now I am taking a class. Wins of Millions, right? And I've been watching some of the collage ones. It's interesting how some things just, you know, botanical, y'all. They're not my thing. They're not. Beverly's her thing. So you take packaging like this and you do a little mini collage on it. Right? So anyway, I got that to work on. I got so much art. Yay. Art. And I'm watching my art classes. So it's just lovely. Lovely. So let me go and finish a little lunch. Get my Trader Joe's. I'm going to break Trader Joe's down too. I'm going to do things that are in my bag. Right? And then I want to get like my apples washed. Stuff like that. So. All right, guys. I will be back. Thanks for commenting and sharing. And um, is there something at Walmart I'm missing? Like, I don't know about this. I don't know. It's pretty cute. Y'all, Dollar Tree. It's, it's, it's just, it's a thing. It's just one of my happy places. And yeah. So I bought gifts for people. I, you know, like I said, um, I didn't do too badly, I don't think. I really don't. But, you know, I'll take you with me. I think what I'll do is break it down. Like, this is what I bought for Beverly's grandnieces. This is what I'm buying to send my friends in Arizona. And then um, this is, like, goofy stuff I probably didn't need. But, like, I got, okay. I've already been working on this thing, y'all. So I want to try it, and I was really good at the Walmart. I did not buy paper. I looked at it, but I didn't buy it. Um, so this is a sketchbook. I'm looking for um, 30 sheets, $1.24. Paper that's cheaper because it grabs paint differently. <coughs> Let me see how it's doing. And I just get that a really chalky appearance, y'all. So this is going to go in one of my books. Obsessed. Take it a little bit to dry though. And then I got um, this thing, Crafter Square. And it came with the worst brush known to mankind. So I've been playing with it. That's what did I, where's my real swatch, y'all? Uh oh, what's this? Um, I don't know, y'all. It's, I swatched it. These are basically, these are a combination. But, um, but there's some fun colors. But this color right here, I really like. It's like a cream tan. I'm going to have to ask Beverly <coughs> if she's something in a tube and I can have some. I really like it, especially for faces because it's not white. Um, but, yeah, it's fun to swatch. And there's a, it's interesting to learn all the differences and the color saturations. I'm taking um, this free workshop art to life and um, today I was l listening to him talk about color and value and to how to make harmony it's really exciting it's just really interesting I I'm gonna watch them over and over again hopefully they'll stay up but I want to take notes and I want to actually kind of do the swatching he's doing like if you add this color if you add that color that kind of thing um and write down some of the terms but you know he's like once you know this just go, right? You just head on down the game chan. So, you know, look at my little bookworm. I think that's cute. He's reading The Very Hungry Bookworm. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna finish my sandwich. We'll be back with some Trader Joe's and maybe I should take a minute to post some stuff. But I think dishes, stuff upstairs, Trader Joe's, and then I'll um, sit down, have some watch and stuff, and then do some of my posting. Clean up my phone a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Roommate probably is not gonna appreciate all this, y'all. So I'm gonna get to get down to my studio. But starting tomorrow, y'all, that's a new regime. I'm gonna get up. Um, I'm gonna get up tomorrow. At 6.30, because it's really 5.30, y'all. Let's not, let's not mince words here, right? So, I'm going to get up at 6.30 for this week, right? And then the next week, I'm going to get up at, like, 6.15. Or maybe by the end of the week, I'll be doing 6.15. 
Then I'm going to go to the sex shop. I'm going to stay there a while. And then I'm going to do like maybe 545 because I just, I just am so much better in the morning. And I love that quietness. So I'm going to really, and like I said, my, there's one of my patrons had told me, older woman, she's like, I'm in bed by, I'm in bed by 830, sleep by nine. She goes, I get up at five, 530. She goes, I'm a morning person. She goes, I don't need to be, there's nothing at night I want to be doing. I love that. Get home at nine, get my cat fed, have some yummy juice, I mean, some something and get in my bed. Because I'll be tired because I'll have been up since, in theory, 5.30. So, y'all, let me know in the comments if you got this far. What time do y'all get up? I'm curious. I mean, I was, my brain's like, well, no. No, this is Sunday. I can get up, feed my cat, get a drink, get back to bed. There's, I'm not saying that. But I am saying on like a day off. Get up and start doing things that I want to do. I right? do some of my art. You know, journal, read, do, give myself the time. I'm worth getting up for early, right? I am. I'm worth for getting up at five. I am. But we're going to start because truly tomorrow morning at 6.30 will be 5.30. And I know this week I'll acclimate. So, but I'm still, even though, you know, it's still going to be some time. Y'all, I don't have to leave my house tomorrow until, well, you know what? I was supposed to go by Staples. I literally, you guys, stepped over. The thing I'm returning. So, here's what it is. I need to find my little code, too, for Amazon. And I did not dare run into Michael's. I just felt like I was not as behaved or was not making the choices I wish I was making at the Dollar Tree. So, I thought we're going to cut our losses here. Nope, nope, nope. So, tomorrow I'm going to run by Michael's to get this plaster of Paris on my way to work. And Staples, we're not going to have a lot of time. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about food. I just see that's another thing. I get more to make food. I think what I'm gonna do is roast some butternut squash. I have some um, sweet potatoes. I have some peppers and onion. Put some kind of um, I don't know what I have. I have something to put on it and um, bake them up, and then open up. Make some quinoa or something with it. And that's a little bowl. I do want to make some chicken. But, y'all, I need to get the au jus. And is that toxic, y'all? The au jus. And I, I think I need pepperoncinis. I wasn't sure. So, that's what I got to look at. But I'm pretty sure I have everything for, like, a winter. Or for, like, a that kind of uh, winter vegetable salad. So, yeah. But my sandwich is going to keep me full. Um, okay. And I do want to taste test for Trader Joe's. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you soon. Thank you for your comments, your subscribing, your support. It means a lot. But put in the comments, what time do y'all get up? And, like, is there something you buy at, like, Wegmans, Walmart, something that you love that I, I, I've never showed you? So let me know about that, y'all. Maybe I'm missing out. You're holding out on me. So, all right, guys, take care. Bye. You guys, want to have lunch with me? Come on. Got a, I really want a corned beef, and they had it on like fry and pumpernickel bread. Y'all, I'm gonna have to pass on that. So I grabbed a um, all organic turkey sandwich. So twelve fifty. That's a little pricey, but it's got something mayonnaise, kind of Dijon cheese, turkey, and um, lots of yummy spinach. really good and the bread it doesn't say but it's really good so Wegman y'all I went to Wegman I got my medicine and what else did I got I got this for my friend Rita, she loves licorice. I don't have the best, but licorice jelly beans. I got a pudding for Beverly for her, like, thank you for, um, you know, like an Easter basket, I guess, like hostess gift. She loves chocolate pudding. 
So this is a cream chocolate la. Have you ever seen that? In a glass jar, I did not check to see. Mm -mm, looks good. And this is Petite Pot. I know she likes those. Yeah. Nothing um, from an authentic French recipe. She's French. Y'all. I mean, I really did not get a lot. I did get <coughs> two bagels, a sesame, and blueberry. And what I want to do is cut them in half and then shrink wrap, shrink wrap them so when I feel like I need um, part of the bagel, I can have it. And I went in there looking for these. So this is organic oat milk. Hmm. Look terrible. Packed with omega-3s. It's healthy. So many of the, um, it's three trees. So many um, of the oat milks are really, and almond milks are full of terrible things. Mm. It's thin, that's because, but it tastes okay. But also, and it was $5.99. I also got this one. What the heck of it, y'all. Organic unsweetened pistachio nut milk. So I thought maybe that would be interesting making my chia seeds. Okay, on forest walks with my grandmother, I learned to appreciate the abundance of nourishing plants. That's where our name comes from. In Chinese, three trees makes up the forest. Today, we remain rooted in grandma's philosophy that the best foods come simply from nature. Woman owned y'all, so let's see what's going on. Let's see. Y'all can see that? Um, it's not bad. It's not sweetened. It does have a pistachio taste. So I'm going to make um, some of my pudding with that. My chia seed pudding. And they were like $5.99. So they're a little expensive. But y'all, you cannot find, to save your life, oat milk, um... And almond milk, you have to really love to find something that does not have a bunch of stuff in it. And I was, the other thing I got, y'all, they have the little cookie bar. You know I'm going to stop there. But these are my favorite, and I only got one. They're almond, you guys. This is like, mm, 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 mm. You don't get many almond tasting things that really taste like almond. Mmm. Mmm. I say mmm. Mmm. Not gluten free. Mmm. 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 So good. And I got another cookie that's snickerdoodle. Mmm. Well, they have great cookies. They're just expensive. And then. The other one I got, hmm, it was an oatmeal cookie. Got chocolate and cranberries. Almond being the best. Beverly loves those things. I might get her a couple for, for Easter. Mmm. Y'all, so that's what I got. I just kind of, I knew I wanted a sandwich. I did not look at things. I mean, the allure, right? Mm -mm. Y'all, I did not look. So, the oatmeal cookie's good. Not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of raisins. The cran cranberries are a little different. But, but y'all, let's let's try that almond cookie again. Y'all, did you get a chance to see if it was good or not? I love their little thing. I had to ring myself up. Oh, wait. But if I had a bunch of groceries, I'd just go really early. I love almond. This is kind of all. If y'all live near Wegmans, go to where the cookies are like you serve yourself. And try one of the almond ones. I wonder if there's almond paste. 
not sure. But it's good. So that's just a little quick trip. One of my things I went to Wegmans. Um, I've been painting circles and drawings since I got home. It's 20 of three. I got laundry to put away. I try to get my DVD player working. Finish dishes, y'all. And we have some Trader Joe's and a bunch of other little things to do. Um, I have a short Walmart haul, so we'll do that. And then I did take some pictures of stuff I thought were fun. So, yeah, I'm just not, what if something happened to me? I didn't finish it. See that? I'm gonna Google this recipe. Oh my God, so good. So I'll get back to you. So what could I put in my pistachio? Chia seed. I have a nice sweet taste to it. Um, I mean, nice taste. So I could put a little stevia. Um, hmm. Cran raisins, cranberries. I don't know if I'm going to light that much. Oh, let's just do it with this and a little stevia. And this, you guys, this has got all kinds of good stuff in it. But this has omega-3. Seeds packed with omega-3s. So, all right. Well, that's it for my little Wegmans haul, y'all. I really went in really to get these. A sandwich. I passed by the puddings. I know she likes these. I saw these when I was checking out. I thought, oh, that's good for my Fermita. So, yeah. Y'all go to Wegmans? It's, it's ex well, everywhere is expensive, but $12 sandwich, y'all? I was hungry. I guess I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do about my corned beef sandwich, y'all. I just don't want it on rye or pumpernickel. Mm -mm. No, girl. Uh -uh. I'm going to sub roll. I don't know, y'all. Anyway, I got time. Who wants to make me some corned beef? I'll buy it. You cook it. We can share it. Judy. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>